Guys, I am super excited because Elementor released a feature that I didn't even see coming. Now, this feature is crucial in designing professional, consistent looking websites. And this is the style guide. So for those of you that watch my DV tutorials, I actually created a style guide that will help you design consistent websites with Divi. But what Elementor has done is integrated into the actual page builder. And I think they stole my idea, actually. Anyway, guys, so let me show you how to activate it on your website. But before we get started, I'd also like to remind you that this is still in beta. So do not use this on a live website, okay? It's still in beta. So I want to show you all the features. And also, if you purchase Elementor Pro using my affiliate link in the video description below, I will give you access to my Elementor Mastery course. In fact, it's still in uh, production, but I will give you access to it. This course will help you design awesome looking websites with Elementor. Okay, so let me show you how to activate this. So what you want to do is after you've installed Elementor Pro, you want to come over here to Elementor. Click here and you're going to notice that you have these three tabs here, general, integrations, advanced and features. So you want to click here on features. But what I normally do is I just activate pretty much everything here because these are the features that are going to be pushed through to the fully functioning Elementor uh, software. So anyway, you want to scroll down here until you find the global style guide. So you want to make sure that you activate it, okay? By default, uh, it's not activated. So you want to come over here and activate it. Now, once you've done that, scroll all the way down to the bottom here and then click on a save changes, okay? So this changes, saves all the changes. And then pretty much you want to open any page. So over here, I have a page open and you can see here, pretty much nothing is going on. But the feature is right here before your eyes. And this is really, really super simple. If you click here, you notice that now, our, our style guide preview has been activated. So this is where all our colors are. And these are the colors that control the whole website. And not only is this just the colors, but they've also added the fonts. So if I click here on the top and click on fonts here, you notice that this will take us to the fonts. So everything that we are going to add here is going to be added to our style guide. I really love this idea because before you would have to add your colors and you only see them as a little square. In fact, this is what we saw. But seeing them nice and big over here, this is priceless. Anyway, so the workflow now that I use is by using a uh, system that helps me choose colors that work well together. So the website I use is called Coolers. So this is where I would come and uh, I can just randomly go through this until I find a color palette that I really like. So let's say this is the color palette. The first thing you want to do is to choose your brand color. So let's say this is going to be my brand color. I can copy that. Come over here to my style guide and I can replace these colors or just add new ones. But anyway, my primary color is my main brand color. So I'll come over here and then just paste the hexadecimal value here like that. So just like that, I've added my main primary color. Now let's move on and add another one. So let's say uh, here is, let's go with this color here. I'm going to copy it. And this color here is going to be my secondary color. So I'm going to click here, paste it. So you can see how easy this is to just go in and replace these colors. Now let's say I need a um, another color, the accent color. This is the color I would use for my call to actions. I've just copied that. And now I can come over here and replace this just like that. So as you can see, I've added pretty much my colors here. The body text, I like to uh, leave it gray uh, because you can't really go funky with that. So gray works fine. Now, you also have other custom colors. So let's say, for example, you're designing your website and you want some transparency. You can create all your transparencies here. So you can see here I have my background overlay. You can go in and name it. Here we have full transparency. We also have white. Uh, I have button color here. Now, let's say I want to add another color to my color palette. And the color is going to be this one here, this blue. I can copy it like that. And to add it, I can just click on Add Color. And I can just name this my blue. But of course, you want to be more creative than this, okay? So anyway, that's the color. I can click anywhere in here and then paste it like that. So just by doing that, my color now has been added to my color palette. So I can also add shades of my primary color. I can also add shades of my accent color and so on. And all these colors are going to be added over here. Now, let's say you are ready now to design your website. All you have to do is to 
click over here, and now I'm back to my site, and I can continue working on this. So even if I were to open up a totally different page, I still have access to this under the settings. So this is pretty cool. So by default, of course, let me just save this. So as you're working on your website, you're going to be in this mode. So this is where you get to enter all your containers. So let's say you're building this, you add your container here. And let's say you want to add some text, you'd come over here, click on this plus button, and let's add our text, drag and drop it. Now, let's say I want to access all my colors. All I have to do is to click here on this little pencil icon. And once I come over here to style and click on this global icon, these are all my colors. So you can see there, they're all there. And this is pretty cool. Now, at any point, if you want to go to your style guide, for whatever reason, you just come over here to site settings. And then I can just click here on global colors. Activate this. And now I'm, black, I'm back to my style guide. So this is huge. But you know what makes it even better? Elementor has a feature where you can package your website and sell it to different marketplaces. In fact, I did a video um, talking about how you can actually make money with Elementor. So if you package your kits, they call them Elementor kits. If you package your kits for someone else to use, it is going to have this style guide. So can you see how easy this is going to be for anyone that buys your kit to go in and change the colors here? And as soon as you change them here, these colors are going to be updated across the whole website. Guys, this is huge. I'm super excited about this feature, and I can't wait to uh, start creating my own kits that I can uh, sell or give away to you guys as I'm designing more websites in the future. And But like I said, if you purchase Elementor Pro using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my bonus, which is Elemental Mastery Course. This course will help you become a professional designer using Elemental, saving you hours and hours of uh, research, finding out how Elemental works. The link to that is in the video description below. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think about this feature. Is it a good feature? Do you think it's awesome? Do you think other page builders should also implement this? Please leave all your comments in the video description below. This is Mac from Sidecrafter. See you soon.